So I want people to understand that automation isn't scary and fixed. Cobots can be there and give you simple, easy to use and easy to deploy automation. So we're here at the Robotics and Automation Show at the Rico Arena. Now, Mill CNC Automation have been uh, supplying Doosan Cobot since 2018. Mm -hmm. um, it's been quite a bit of a success story, hasn't it? Can you tell us how the last 12 months has been for you? Oh, it's been amazing. Uh, I, th I think we've had a very difficult period, as you can imagine, with, with the global pandemic. But it's really focused people's attention on the fact that we need to automate in this country. We need to be more efficient. We need to be reducing our costs. And the basic thing is we don't have enough labour to fulfil all the jobs that we're generating at the moment. And it perfectly fits in with sort of what Mills CNC have provided for many years, yeah. doesn't it? Uh, because you've also got the, the, the Synergy products yeah. as well now, haven't you? Could you tell us quickly about those before we discuss the Cobots here? So, Cobots, collaborative robots used with minimal guarding, working with operators, but that's fine with, with smaller, lighter weight objects or repetitive small operations. Synergy cells are there for the faster cycle times, the heavier parts and give um, customers the opportunity to automate those more difficult processes in a very simple manner with a simple interface. Okay, now the theme here today obviously at this show is, is what you're showing here. You've got three cobots. Yeah. Maybe we could talk about each and every one of them. Let's start with what we've got here where we're, we're picking up these cubes. What's this doing? Well, can I just say something before we go there? We've so, actually got three cobots. Which it's a range. It's one from each of the range. We've now got... Uh, 10 cobots in our range, more than anybody else has, uh, uh, more often than any other supplier has. So we're showcasing each one of the range here. So the first one you see is our A series, which I would say was our entry level cobot. That's the one for simple repetitive tasks, but they don't always have to be simple. So we've teamed this one up with vision, as you'll see, and we're doing an operation where we're identifying shapes on cubes and sorting them. This could be translated into a production line where parts are coming down in irregular positions and the cobot can then pick them, select them and place them where they need to go. So give us an example, I know it's a very, uh, it could go into mm. a very broad environment, couldn't it? But give us maybe an example of where it would fit in industry. Yeah, well a classic one might be in an assembly operation, for example, where you actually have parts that may be in a bin. So rather than being regularly placed, they come in a, a box or a bin. The, uh, the, the, the vision coupled with the cobot gives the ability then to rather than be sorting parts, you're picking them as they come from the supplier and using them directly, much as an operator would do in a standard uh, assembly operation, for example. Automation absolutely fascinates mm. us at MTDCNC. I mean, there's four areas here, flexibility, which mm. obviously we can, we can see there, uh, the wide application areas, which we've discussed. Um, but what about the ease of use and how easy they are to deploy? Yeah, something I think, like this particular I think this is program. something I've always said, and it's, it's, I, I feel a bit like a, a broken record sometimes it's all about easy deployment and redeployment it's it's not the point for us to have a, a piece of automation that's complex and is going to scare people cobots are simple to program simple to use and more critically simply to simple to redeploy as well and very safe safe yes as well everyone knows cobot collaborative works in close proximity to an operator sensing force and talk sensing means if it doesn't come into contact with anybody it's not going to harm them the one thing i say now is with everything you need to risk assess all your applications to make sure that the whole environment is safe as well now tell us about the solution you've got there working yeah. in conjunction with the renishore equator what's that doing so what we're trying to show there is that it's not just about big say machining operations or assembly we're seeing there a cobot tending an operation where you might have an operator sat there repetitively loading in this case it's the Renishaw equator somebody sat there they're not adding any value other than placing parts into that operation the Renishaw equators checking the parts and then saying pass or fail we're saying there that you can take that operator and use them for much more um, useful operations and have a cobot tending and it could be an equator it could be a marking machine so you know an equator or a, a CMM you can run it overnight 
you don't need to have an operator there and coming in the next morning your parts are completely checked ready for the next operations and it would strike me that an operator having to do that task could make mistakes couldn't they where the cobot is very unlikely to do that that's right yeah that's it cobots don't make mistakes cobots are repetitive and consistent and will keep doing that job the equator will give a signal to say pass or fail the cobot will place the part either in the good pile or the bad pile now there's um quite small applications, some of the ones we've uh -huh. looked at so far, but then of course at the back of the, the stand you're showcasing a, yeah. like a, pa a, a, you know, a pallet system here yeah. aren't you, being, yeah, uh, being right. loaded. What's this one doing and tell us about this cobalt because it looks big. It is a big beast, it's, it's, it's a big, it's long reach, 1.7 metres and a 20 kg payload. We also have a 25 kg payload and a 1.5 metre reach. So they really are, really are big guns in the world of cobalt. The beauty of the reach and the payload is for palletisation in, in, in one example. So this is what we're doing here. End of line palletisation, picking boxes, moving them, stacking them. Again, you can have operators stood at the end of a line doing that. Couldn't you have been employing those people better? Going back again, we know resource, human resource, is at a premium at the moment. Cobots can do that repetitively and consistently. And also with a cobot, you're taking up a lot less real estate. Not as much guarding needed. Well, again, say you risk assess it. You do need a level of guarding, but less guarding than an industrial robot, and it's not as fixed. It can be moved between operations. And I look at this, and I do think, with it being a bigger uh, cobot, mm -hmm. with a bigger reach, being able to pick up heavier um, parts or, or boxes, as we see here, the safety element becomes a little bit more critical, then, doesn't it? It does. So let's talk about. I mean, yes. So you've got the benefit of a cobot, but you've got the ease of deployment and redeployment, and I think that comes into play as well. Still guarding, minimise the guarding, or you can reduce the guarding because you use the cobot safety features in tandem with that guarding, but you've got a simple, easy to program and easy to redeploy, redeploy piece of automation again. Um, for you here at this show, Peter, what's the biggest message that Mill CNC Automation is trying to portray? I think it's we want to democratise autom automation. It wants to go across, we've got products that will work in every industry, every level of technology, it can be a very simple operation, it can be more complex, and we can provide you with that complete solution. So I want people to understand that automation isn't scary and fixed. Cobots can be there and give you simple, easy to use and easy to deploy automation. And for those that can't make it here this week or haven't been here to the mm -hmm. show, how else can they see your products, Peter? Well, you can come to our Turnkey and Automation Centre. It's an impressive facility in Leamington Spa. We show a range, the range of Cobots. We also show our Synergy cells. Really impressive, you can come, we can do proof of concept trials, you can see, you can get your hands on the products and really get to know the Doosan Collaborative Robot and our Synergy Cells in more detail.